Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today uh, we have a different kind of video. Uh, my face can be seen as you can see. Um, uh, I wanted to uh, first of all uh, apologize for the mess in my office. Uh, my wife sits behind me and uh, that's all her stuff right there that you can see. I don't actually love uh, pink and yellow as much as that might make it seem like I do. <laughs> uh, but we are back uh, today because uh, Cosmic Mythos just came out, or actually coming out Friday, right? And so I was fortunate enough to get my hands on two boxes early. I did a poll recently asking if you guys would rather uh, have me do like little digestible bites of boxes um, or my entire case that's coming in um, instead, you know, like pretty much asking your preference on what kind of video you would like. And it was pretty one-sided for the case. Uh, the case I still don't have, so in the meantime, I thought I would just do a couple for you guys and just kind of give the best of both worlds. I'm really excited for this set. I'm really excited for any set. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy for there to be some kind of change in the format so uh, without further ado I'm gonna put one of those boxes aside I just got a little bobby pin right here just to help me open this um, very unprofessional <laughs> but uh, anyway I'm really excited uh, I think the main things I want to get out of this set are uh, I, I obviously mr. Elefante would be great uh, giant chimera would be awesome Mars would be great I mean any you obviously any you would be fantastic um, but uh you know because they're all beautiful but uh, look at that pack right there um just oh man i'm really scared to uh, kind of open these because i'm so bad at them and i don't want to bet any cards but first pack of cosmic mythos so let's just see how this goes um looks like demonic drummer dragon's nest wow that that brings back memories uh beetle warrior goblin princess very good card uh, show of loyalty this is one of the code geos collab cards and uh pdk all right i, I really hope i get the u um, but um yeah i will take gold for sure and then a fenrir and then a serpent token so very nice very nice get the trash out of here uh second pack here see i already kind of messed up the messed up the pack a little bit when i did that uh, Feet of the Gentle Elf, Knight's Way, a Python. Man, I know this card isn't that great, but man, is that pretty. I really, really, really like that. So, uh, Freshman Lou, Andromeda. This card um, is really good uh, for a Humpty or um, uh, Egg Haven because this card says fanfare for the rest of the turn. Your leader and each follower currently on your field. Um, including this one have this ability this doesn't take any ability damage so if you this, this is also a one drop two two so there's no reason for you to ever oh oh my gosh howling demon oh my gosh uh storm on evolve if sanguine's active give your leader plus five health um okay so i shouldn't have flash forward but this card is a really good combo with humpty dumpty um, because if you play this before you humpty uh humpty will do five damage to only your opponent uh, and three damage to their leader, of course. Uh, so that's great. You get to keep the Humpty. This is this is really really good support for uh, for Egg Haven. So really good pulls, both of those. I'm very happy to get that. I, I want to get a playset. I, I know I'm getting a K, so uh, I will, but um, have a playset. But you know, still exciting to get it in my first couple of packs, so I can look at it early. Uh, okay, next one, Dazzling Healer, Armor of the Stars, Scorpius, another throwback card. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Mystic Ring. This is one of my favorite cards for Rune Crap. But draw. Uh, put a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck, draw a card, and it's a one drop quick, so not bad. Uh, Chain of Calling, cool, this is another gold for Rune. Look at the top five cards of your deck, you may reveal a follower from among them and add it to your hand. Put the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in any order, or spell chain 10, or also spell chain 10, recover one play point, so it becomes one. Uh, and then Grimnir, War Cyclone, this card is uh, heavily nerfed uh, compared to its online game, but um, you know, still a cool card, very, very classic feeling. All right, so next pack, I need, I need, I need to see a Mars, a Chimera, an Elephant, uh, Princess Juliet, very good card. Ooh, a Cassiopeia. I was really excited to get uh, one of these cards for sure. I mean, this is like a staple in uh, in Forest moving forward. This card is a board wipe. Uh, fanfare, select any number of enemy followers in the field and deal X damage divided between them. X equals the number total number of cards in your hand and in your EX area. So very, very cool. I'm very happy that I pulled that one. I need uh, at least one more. Uh, Europa, this card has an alternate art. Uh, oh, no, it's a, it's a U alternate art, I think, and it looks beautiful. Uh, I can't wait. Oh, hopefully, hopefully I get to pull one of those. But uh, for sure, really excited about the Cassie, for sure. All right, next pack. 
Still got a lot of ways to go in this first box before we even tackle the rest. See, I'm so terrible at opening packs. It's really embarrassing. Octo Bishop, Astrologist of the Mist, Flail Knight, Elf Song, Shrouded Assassin, uh, Spring Green Protection. Wow, this card has a lot of text. So it's a one-drop amulet. Uh, for one, you can turn it on its side, put this card into the owner's cemetery, select the Forestcraft follower on your field, give it plus one health, and then combo three, uh, give it plus one attack more. So when this card leaves the field, put a Fairy Wish token into your EX area. That's the actual effect you want to do, people. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the the first one you, it'll come up, but you know, you mainly want to do the wisps. Bar Barbarossa. Uh, this is the Evo form. It has a sale, and then last word. Last words. Put this card in the owner's EX area. This card floated really good uh, back in the Shadowverse Online. So, really excited for Shadowverse 2. I hope when that game comes out in June, um, that you guys will be cool with me putting some of that content on the channel. I'm very excited. I play Shadowverse. Uh, see, I already nicked the card. I'm so horrible at these, opening these packs. I hope that whenever Shadowverse Worlds Collide comes out, you guys will bear with me and enjoy the content that I put on the channel. Because I play Shadowverse, like the regular collector's game, uh, every day. So I'm, I'm really, really happy that they're continuing the game. Uh, Elf Song, Pure Hearted Singer. This card is the exact same as it is in the online game. It's just not nearly as good. <laughs> uh, they're two different games, really. Uh, Dark Charisma. It's a gold. Search your deck for an amulet. Reveal it. Add it to your hand. Uh, Crap. Oh wait! Oh, this is the um, the globe, but it's um, it is uh, the code Yeos collab. So that's really cool. Yeah, you can pay two to put this card in the owner's cemetery. Give your leader plus one health and draw a card. This card is so good for Amulet Haven. I'm really happy that I of all the ones I pulled, I pulled a, a collab one. So very nice. Um, all right, next we start off with the Princess Juliet Venomous Bite. Oh, a premium Trial of the Gorgons. Nice, nice Venomous. Pew Swarm, Round Table Assembly, Staircase to Paradise, horribly nerfed card now uh, versus like the original online game. Oh, Goblin King. So this one is a good one to look at because uh, the Goblin Princess can uh, get this out. But it's a ward, fanfare, give each other Goblinoid follower on your field plus one one. So Goblin King could actually be seen in your little rogue meta at your local. So they're kind of kind of a beefcake. Sister of Punishment, Dazzling Healer, Armor of the Stars, Shrouded Assassin, Concentration. Uh, I want to point out, this is a 3-drop. Give your leader plus 3 health, draw a card, Earthrite, draw 2 instead. You guys know I love Dirt Rune, so. King Elephant, there we go. That's the one of many that we need. So this is that to be a big meta deck. <laughs> and you'll see, because this card evolves for 4. Uh, it has Storm, select any number of cards on your field, return them to your owner's hands. Um, and uh, give this follower plus XX actually equals the number of cards in your hand. So this very quickly on, on turn six can be a seven or eight storm. Uh, and if you make it a 10, it'll double that pretty much and then ignore ward. So uh, really crazy, but I'm glad I got a Cassie. I got an elephant starting off really strong, really happy with it. All right, we're starting the second half of this box. Oh man, I'm, I'm really sorry if that makes you guys cringe whenever I... Uh, whenever I open those packs. But uh, Ivy Spellbomb, great card. I hope it comes in like a premium foil because I would love to have like three of those. Uh, Globe of the Stairway. See, that's the one that I was talking about. That is um, the, where'd it go? I had it here, I had it here. It was the, 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 here it is, here it is. So this, these are the same exact card. It's just one of them is a, a Code Geass collab card. So same exact card, but they, you know, you can still only play a playset of, you know, some kind of combination of them. So um, very nice. I kind of, I mean, I kind of like just, I don't want to say I like this more than the Code Geass one, but I do like how classic it looks. So um, very nice. Next pack on the second half. All right, we just got to go fast with it with these uh, packs, so that way they don't get caught on the card. Um, okay, so now hopefully we see a Mars soon. Ariette Soothing Harpist. I don't know if this one has like a, a U. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, it's a neutral though. Select an, an engaged follower on your field. Give it plus 2-2 two, two and refresh it. But wait, for the rest of the turn, it can't attack enemies, uh, which is painful because what is the point at that point? Uh, so I don't think that's a too good of a card, you know. Okay, next pack, uh, Magic Owl, uh, Pollux, Caster, ooh, we got an SL Israfield, that is really pretty, man, okay, so this is an 8-drop, 
Uh, one to evolve it. Uh, give your leader plus four health on uh, fanfare. Strike deal three damage to each enemy follower on the field. So this card um, is very, 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 very good uh, for dragon. I mean, it's like you know, it, it's kind of slow. You need a way to you need a way to get it to have rush. So you basically have to evolve it, but it only evolves for, for one, so it's not bad. And it has crazy, crazy good stats, but beautiful SL. So I'm very, 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 very happy to get that. So, uh, Pure Hearted Singer, Noble Instruction. This is um, another collab card. I'm not sure. Oh, we, we did pull the other one. Oh, this is a, for a spell chain calling, I think is what it was called. Uh, but I'm going to put a put this Israfil in a, in a sleeve really quick. This is just beautiful. I mean, SLs are, I mean, U's are amazing, but, you know, certain certain SLs are just so nice. So, very happy with that. All right. Oh my gosh, man, that hurts. That hurts. All right. I, I don't want to like have to use scissors and whatnot, but I, I really feel like it's becoming a necessity at some point. Uh, <laughs> Star Chaser Sprite, Star Sears Telescope. This is a legendary. It's a seven. Is it Chimera? No, it's World Wielder Ginger. I don't know if this one's very good, but uh, it evolves for two. It's a four, four, seven drop. Fanfare, I mean, but put a follower from your hand onto your field. Its fanfare abilities can't be performed. I hate this card already. For the rest of the turn, it can't attack enemies. Okay, it's evolved. Better be cracked because I don't really like that very much. Uh, Emperor's Command, Lightning Blast, and then another Europa. So Lightning Blast, I want to talk about really quick. It's a five drop dragon card, dragon spell. Uh, it's a quick, of course. You may play this card for five more play points. You can play ten for this. Select an enemy follower on the field and banish it. If you play this card for basically ten play points, instead of banishing that follower, banish each enemy follower on the field. So for ten, if you pass on ten, uh, you are not going to die through um, through attack damage because this is non-targeting banishment. Um, so you have an out to cards like Heavenly Aegis. Um, maybe uh, Beauty and the Beast attacking for game. Uh, it's yeah, just this is another out to aura. So I don't know that this card will even see play, but just at face value, I like it. It's a it's a card worth exploring, is all I'm trying to say. All right, next pack. We got to get moving on these boxes. I don't want you guys to have too long a video and then you guys just click away and leave me forever. Uh, Mage of Nightfall, Owl Cat, Dark Jean. Uh, that is a fanfare deal two damage to each enemy follower on the field give each other follower on your field plus two attack and it evolves for one so hopefully the evolve is uh, better than that because uh, I'd rather just play regular Jean because that's also a haven card trial of the gorgons Tristan of the round table so uh, looks like we got about three packs left for this first box hopefully I should have been checking for leaders I just realized I haven't been thank goodness we didn't already pull one Ooh, a premium mystic ring that's very pretty I like that. That's a good one, I, th I would say. That's probably oh, Sakuna. I don't know if I've actually pulled any of these yet, but that might be the first one. That's another staple card for Forest moving forward. Stheno. Ugh, I don't like how to pronounce that. Goblin Princess. Okay, yeah, so this is the one that when you evolve it, put a Goblin King into your EX area. Uh, so, yeah, Goblin King is, uh, like I said, pretty, pretty monstrous. Pretty good stats. All right, next. Second to last pack. No leader. Aqua Nereid, Starry Elf. This card's also very good. It's a three drop, three, three. Search your deck for an amulet, reveal it, and add it to your hand. Very good. Very, 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 very good card. Um, Uriel, Lord General Romeo, Barbarossa, the main deck form. If there are at least three enemy cards in the field, this card costs two less to play. So if they have three cards, this card costs two. No, sorry, three. Still good, but three. And then, of course, I showed you earlier, the Evolve has a sale. And last words, put it back to the EX. Uh, so very nice. Dazzling Healer. And then last pack of the first, or sorry, yeah, first box. God, man, I got distracted by how I nicked that one. All right, it's not a leader card, thank God. Uh, Scaled Berserker, cool card, by the way. Dryad, Sister of Punishment, Dragonute Fist. It's just a giant hand in a photo. Divine Tiger. Perseus and a shrouded assassin. So that's gonna be it for the uh, the first box. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that away. Um, now moving on to the second one. 
Get this little bobby pin. One day I'll have a letter opener. I think I had one before and I, I don't know what I did with it. But um, second box here. So first one was nice. First one was pretty nice. I mean, we got a SL Israfil, so I'm happy with that. Uh, but we got no, uh, we got a Cassie though too, but no Mars. I really still do want some Mars. So let's move on to the second box here. This time we're going to go a little bit faster. Again, I don't want to take too long. All right, so moving on, Frog Bat, Aquanarid, Magical Illusionist, uh, Yuri Tail, Globe of Stairway. So now we have our playset, very nice. And then another Grimnir Evo, so not bad, not bad. Moving on, moving on. Venomous Bite, Scaled Berserker, Dryad, Staircase to Paradise, Premium. I mean, the card's not that great, but it's a great looking premium, so I forgive it in that sense. Shrouded Assassin, another Lightning Blast, Magical Illusionist. Okay. Uh, we're going to cover, probably not cover too many cards, too, moving forward. Dazzling Healer, Armor of the Star, Scorpius, Star Princess, Priestess, sorry. Oh, regular Grimnir. Yeah, see, he just says ward. He's just a three cost, three, four ward. Poor guy. My boy got nerfed, man. That's unfortunate. All right, next pack. Another Starry Elf. Very nice. Candelabra of Prayers. Magical Owl. Gawain of the Round Table. Uh, Gawain is a five drop, five, five rush. Reveal two other Commander of Arthurian cards. Uh, or Commander or Arthurian cards in your hand. Recover two play points. He's only three, five, five. While this card is on your field, the first commander card you play each turn costs one less. Uh, very good card. He has a U as well. I hope I can pull that as well. Even though he's actually my least favorite he, uh, U. Oh, what is this? Ooh, we got a Mars Evolve. So Mars is usually a three drop, uh, but it evolves for one. No, it evolves for zero, actually. Uh, on Evolve, search your deck for an officer follower that costs X play points or less and put it onto your field. X equals your, the number of your choice. Uh, whenever an officer follower is put onto your field, give it plus one attack. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you, like, let's say you have six play points, you play Mars on three, you only have three left, evolve it for zero. You can use all three play points left to bring out something that costs uh, three play points. So, like, uh, for example, Romeo, if you play that. Um, but this card is very, very good for Sword. Um, I don't know how many you play of its Evo and in, in, in the main deck and whatnot, but very happy to see it. I'm, I'm really happy, or I'm excited to test out just some different things with sword i don't know how it'll do and like you know fair against like the, the new meta but you know I, it'll, it'll be a fun deck for sure uh dragon Eight fist star torrent a uh, zoe princess of goldania i think i'll just cover any legendaries i get from this point forward if, if i can help it unless i see something that i really just want to talk about uh the mage of nightfall owl cat princess juliet elf song pure hearted singer another ariette and owl cat Two packs left on the first half of the second box. Knight's Way, Star Chaser's Sprite, Star Seer's Telescope, Emperor's Command, Sukuna again, Noble Instruction, which is Spell Chain Calling, uh, just the, uh, you know, the uh, collab version. Uh, so I'm really hoping, hopefully, pray, 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 we get like a leader. I hope not in this pack. Okay, not in this pack, though, because I just butchered it. Um, okay. Star Chaser Sprite, Star Tears, Seer's Telescope, Tristan, Concentration, Mystic Ring, uh, Fashionista Nelcha. I don't know what that is, but I hope it's good. <laughs> I don't have very many cards of this set, so hopefully it is. All right, now we're starting the second half of this box. Goodness gracious, this pack is fighting me. I hope it's good. All right, Dragon's Nest. I feel like that's like my second one of that. Miss Shaman, Uriel, Caledonian Bear. Another King Elephant. Nice. Can I get one more of these, please? Um, and one Evo. I don't think I pulled an Evo yet. But at least got two Elephant. Okay, Frog Bat, Aquanarid, Lord General Romeo Premium. If I can get Juliet Premium, that would be really nice. I don't know if it comes Premium, but I hope it does. Emperor's Command, Star, Phoenix, and then Fida. Okay, next pack. Very good. That was a good. That was a good rip. Felt nice. Third starry elf, magic owl, deep wood anomaly. Uh, this card. When this follower deals attack damage to an enemy leader, you win the game. Uh, yeah. Okay. I forgot about this guy. When this follower deals attack damage to an enemy leader, you win the game. <laughs> it's a win con. Um, yeah. Now you just need a way to like give it ward or something. Lelouch. This is. Um, I forgot the regular card. Oh, it's Hector. 
Um, yeah, this this is taking over Ector. The the big Lelouch card to pull is a leader card though. So hopefully, you know, not knock on wood, we uh, we see that happen. But uh, anyway, moving on, moving on. Okay, next pack. We got about I don't know four or five four packs left, maybe five packs. Astrologist of the Mist, Flail Knight, Demonic Drummer, another Israfiel, nice. Just a regular legendary, Magical Illusionist, another Dark Charisma, and the Dark Jean Evos. On Evolve, if your leader's health is at least five, select an enemy follower field, deal four damage to it and each leader. That's not that bad, actually, now that I now that I see the card. Uh, so this is a great pack. These are three great cards. Or, you know, Dark Jean's a card, but the other two are great cards. <laughs> but it uh, looks like we have about four packs left. I really, really, really hope we see like a leader, but nope, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Dazzling Healer, Armor of the Stars, Concentration, Duller Blade Demon, Stetho Frog Bat. Three packs left. Okay. No leader. Hopefully, maybe get something good. Ivy Spellbomb. Yeah, it's definitely like my second Ivy Spellbomb. I have not gotten a lot of those. Third Sakuna, very nice. Lord General Romeo, Europa. Place out of those now. Barbarossa. That is it. Moving on to the second. Gee, look how I opened that. My goodness. Actually, that looked pretty okay. Uh, Pollux, Caster, Mr. Full Moon. I don't actually remember seeing many of him. Fenrir. I don't know who you are. Chivalrous Charge, uh, Star Priestess, and then uh, Mega Lorca. So this is our last pack of Cosmic Mythos for now. Goodness gracious. For now. Uh, again, we do have a pack. Oh, sorry, a case. Okay, I have a whole pack coming, guys, if you want to see it. We have a case coming in, so I'll have that video posted um, the next day, the day after this one drops. So um, look out for that. Hippocampus, Feet of the Gentle Elf. Oh, is this a Sybil? No, oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a Sybil, actually, but it's the, the, the collab version of Sybil. So, Fanfare of Overflow is active for you. Give this follower plus one, one. Increase your maximum play points by one. At the start of your end phase, give your leader plus one health, but as Overflow is active for you, give it plus two health. So, it's a good heal and uh, becomes a little bit beefy, and you ramp one. So, not bad at all, not bad at all. Fenrir barbarossa and we just got a miss shaman so that's gonna be it for the video i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, remember we have a case coming um so tomorrow for as, as far as you know and uh, <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the video so with all that being said um make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy bye bye